the call with Shalom and Aaron. I'm Shalom and he's Aaron. So the answer to last week's question. Parshas Noach. Parshas Noach. What are the names of the wives of Shem Chomenofas? Yeah. So the Mchasa Osik. On Parshas Noach, Parag Vav, Pasul Gimut Ches says, Ish Hashem was Machal Tivon. Or a different shout is Machlo brings. Ish Hashem was Saman Tivoy. Ishes Yofes was Kinan Tanvoy. Oh wow, funny names, funny names. <laughs> long time ago, they can't see the very ones. Yeah, yeah well, it was a good one to use that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like what better one is like Noya or like Avron. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Um, okay, yeah. So now, um. Yeah, okay. So in Parshat Lech Lecha, we know it says, right? Yeah. The Pale, the one who like escaped, he got saved. The refugee. Refugee, yeah. That's a good word. So he got escaped and he um, he came, he told to Avram Ha'ivri that Lloyd got captured, right? So. Oh. Who is the pilot? We know Rashi. Everyone knows that Rashi says Oig Mel Chavoshan, right? Oig. This is referring to Oig, who either he got saved, he survived from the war, or from the Mabel, you know. Oh, it's a Rashi. A Rashi. Yeah, yeah, the Rashi. Perikadal Apostle Gid Gimel, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it, Oig is like a pretty amazing Oig, amazing person, right? Yeah. We know, like, um, one may be wondering, how can this be Oig? How on earth could this be Oig? If this is really Oig, and it says in the Sechah Seifrim, in the last halacha, all the way to the end of the Sechah Seifrim, Perichof Aleph, halacha tes, it says, Oig ze Eliezer. Oig is Eliezer. So if Oig is Eliezer, you may be wondering, how could it be that um, Moshe Rabbeinu, we know, we know that it's Oig later on by Moshe Rabbeinu, um, he got killed by Moshe Rabbeinu. Oh. If that's really Eliezer, the loyal servant of Avram Rabbeinu, how could that be? Or could that be? Oh, yeah. So this question is actually asked by the Mepharshim over there in Masecha Seifrim. Yeah, Eliezer was a tzaddik. Yeah, Eliezer was a tzaddik, they say. And also, in the first parak of Derech Eretz Zuta, Masecha's Derech Eretz Zuta, it says that he's one of the few people that went into Gan Eden in his life. Only the few people? Yeah. Among other people, like Basco, Dora, Paro, you know, a few more. Yeah. Yeah. So, how can it be? Was he a tzaddik or was he Oigma Chabashan? Like, which one? Oh. Um. So, one answer given by the Mepharshim over there in Mesef Asoyfrim is that really Oig is just a title of any king of that place. He's called Oig. It's just like Paro, you know, Paro, there's and old Paro by Avram Vinu, then there's a Paro by Moshe, and this keeps them being Paros. And Elimelech, Elimelech by, by Avram, and Elimelech by Dove, how can I be? Oh, yeah. So what's the name? Yeah. Like the name the, actually the, the, the king of the Paro by, by, by Moshe Vinu, which is Parashat Shemais. The same for Yachim oh, yeah. says, the name is Molol ben Migron. A king? Wow. So yeah, exactly, just like, it's just a title, Oig, just a title, the Oig. So there was one Oig that was Eliezer, and then there was other Oig that was killed by Avravino. Yeah, also and Kesar. Like, yeah. Also Kesar, yeah. Like Elimelech is, is also an example by, if, if you see the first Mitsuda Sion in Periklamidala of Tehillim. Yeah. See that? Maybe I'll look at sometime. Yeah, so, so also, you know, Oi goes very big. You wonder, like, how could Avram Vino have such a big servant? Like, if he's Avram Vino, he's like this big, then Oi is like enormous. Well, we know his, his ankle. Says. You know, the Gemara Bracha, his Parakaroya, his ankle, um, Moshe Vino, he was 10 Amos, and he jumped 10 Amos, he had axed 10 Amos, and that was only his ankle. 30 Amos ankle. Well, it wasn't the same Oig. Well, all those kings were just very big. Yeah, so. but 
that it, they're yeah, from that place. Yeah. They must have all been. They're from. They're from the Nephilim, like from the Nephilim. Nephilim. Oh yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. Is Shem Oh. So actually, how could it be that Avram had such a big servant when he was so small? It's a good question, right? Interesting. Yeah. Well, actually, in the same halacha in there in Sefer Soifrim. The same place right there, it says that Avram Vino was actually very big himself. He was actually as tall as 74 men. Even though it, it, it says over there that, that Eliezer just held him in the palm of his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he was, imagine how big Eliezer was. He was still, maybe, maybe Eliezer you, was still bigger than him. You, you yeah. can calculate how much. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so he was actually as big as 74 men. His diet, what Avram Vino ate, was as much as 74 men eat and drink. Whoa. That's what he ate. And also, even his strength. He had the strength of 74 men. You need all that food to keep up the strength. Huh? Yeah, he was so strong that he built a, a big city made out of metal for, his sem for the 17 children of Keturah. Keturah. Oh, yeah. The 17 children, which were really his children, he built a big city out of metal and the sun, it blocked the sun from coming in. In that, there was, there was a, no there sun. Was a table so, made yeah. of precious jewels and precious stones. So he gave them, yeah, he gave them lots of precious stones to light it up, just like in the table. Yeah, the and, and that, them. and because it blocked out the sun and the moon, so the source of light was from that table of precious jewels. So it gave them enough light. That would be the yeah. same light that the Or HaGanos that Kosh Baruch hid by, by when Kosh Baruch Hu made the Or by, by, um, by mm. Yara Lukin. Also, Lava, no more sun and the light is just from the Ziv Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole, like, um, and that's all tactless of the person. Oh. Um, Masil Sashan talks about it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and also, you know, also in Dira Misaka Seifrim, it continues to go on and say some more in Dira Agoda. Like, you know, Oig's tooth once fell out. He got so scared, his tooth fell out. So Avramino took that tooth. So, even though he's tiny compared to him. Yeah, Avramino yeah. took that enormous tooth, a huge tooth, and he made it into a bed and he slept on it. He, it is, in his entire life, he slept on that bed. Or Misaka Seifrim also brings there that some say it was a chair and he sat on it. He sat on it his whole life. Yeah, and also Oig was also enormous. He was much bigger than Avram Vidu's tooth. So a chair or a bed. And he built 60 cities, 60 big cities. And the smallest one, guess what the height was? The smallest one of the 60 cities. It's hard one. 60 mil. What? 60 That's mil. 39 miles. Yeah, 39 miles. Going by... Um, guess how much a meal is going okay, by? Yeah, yeah Chazanish. Go, going by the average, that it's six point five, up point six five miles a mill, thirty nine mile tall ceiling, a tall city for the smallest one. Ooh, the big ones. Can only imagine. <laughs> and he also every day he ate a thousand oxen. Very yeah. big. Yeah. A thousand oxen. Really. So that's oh, you might yeah. So, in the Sefer Taimim, we start to make our Rabbi Huda Chassid. Huda Chassid. The Sefer Chassid, right? Yeah. The, the son of Rabbi Shmuel Chassid. That. Where does he say this? In this parasha? He no, it says on Parshas Bereshis actually. Oh, Paragdalid Pasuka. So in this okay. parasha it says Vatar, meaning by Hagar. Also became pregnant with Avram Vino. Yeah, um, um, yeah. Yeah. So Vatar. So we also have power in parasha's Bereshis. It says Vatar Vateled. Yeah. So he he brings one to say for Panech Raza. Panech Raza. Yeah. That Vatar is oisy ois toira. Hmm. Yeah. Huh? And he well, says, from here we learn that the Malach teaches that the Muna on th that baby teaches that 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 
that baby Torah in the stomach of his mother. Oh, that's going to proof. Remez for the Gemara Nida, the Flam and Amr Beis. The baby yeah. is told the whole Tyra, Vatar, as they're being pregnant. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. We learn this also from the Pasuk. Pasuk in Eoi. Um, Perukhov Tess. Pasuk Gemol. So it, 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 it says that a Neroi, the Oiroi, El We only learn Neroi and Oiroi. Where do we learn that Ner and Or is Torah? The Pasuk says, Ki Ner Mitzvah the Torah. Oh, the Pasuk initially. Yeah. So the next part would be Hilo Neroi. So it's Rosh Hashanah voice. Ben. Because the sun. Oh. So it's a Torah, the sun. Oh. Then Neroy Ali Roshi. Roshi was Na'ar. Oh, wow. Neroy. Because Nehru. he teaches the Na'ar Torah. Oh, wow, yeah. Then Ali Roshi, Laoi Roy, is Roshi Devas Aurel. So even though the baby is Aurel. Oh, they didn't have Nehru yet. But then Hanoi, Moshe Rabbeinu, Noyach, a few couple of big tadikim, did were born with Samila. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, speaking of that, actually, um, Malki Tzedek, who was Shame, the king of Yerushalayim. We know. Um, so, so some say that he actually, he actually was the one that gave the Mila to Avram Vinu. And then how can you, you may ask how could he do that? The why? answer is the answer is that because why not? Why would he ask that? So we may know. Because we know, and um, we know that someone who's an Aral can't give a Mila. He was Aral. So, so th th that's a kasha. Oh, wasn't he Aral? He did not keep the The answer is he was born Mohol, actually. One of the list of the people. He was born Mohol, one of the rare people. So my sure yeah. Who said people. that? Um, I saw that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So... Over here also, after the breath of Avram, you know, we assume we'll see later on, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives him a name, he adds a hey. See the Gemara in Baruch Hu, that talks about like a whole sugi, all about it, like it says, you know, a person is not allowed to call to Avram if you know, without a hey. And it's a whole sugi, I'll see it. See the Gemara in Baruch Hu. Um, Herak Sheini. And, so speaking of names, the Sefer, Chofet Hashem. Chavit Hashem by the Baal Or Hachayim. He says that Kosh Baruch himself gives the name to the Neshama. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. What's the name of the each Neshama? It's also born to that Svarim, that the parents of Ruch HaKodesh, and then oh, yeah. Ruch HaKodesh, what Kosh Baruch Hu named him. And in the Gemara, it says that a basket comes out right when a baby is born. It says, Piloini will marry Pelonius, the true um, Shara Shashama. Oh, wow. Hmm. It's about names. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. speaking of the Baskals, Taimon and Hagen asks, you know what I'm why is it called the Baskal? Yeah. So let's do Taimon and Hagen for that. Yeah. So also, the, the, the um, Avram Vinu, the fact that he had got named only after, uh, only when he had the Mila. That's actually the source of where the Mina comes from, that we do the name, we name a child right when they get their Mila. That's where the Kriya shame of a child is. It comes from the first person who got a Mila, which is Avram Vinu. Oh. Avraham of Vinu, I should say. Oh. Yeah. So that's when he got his new name. Okay. And now for the best part. My the favorite. question of the week. My favorite part. So the question, this week's question is, how old was Avraham Avinu, Avraham Avinu, in the time of the Brisbane Abbasarim? So this question has a few possible answers that they could all be true, they all have their own source. There's one main answer, but you could say some other answers. Oh, it's a hard one. Yeah. Let's see, see, um, see the Baltimore. It's a hint. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, thank you for watching Torah Talk on Parshas Lech Lecha. Bye. Yan! Yan! I Yan! Yan! Okay. 14 and a half. Hello? Watching Gustavo. Um, my video is pretty boring, so you probably like stop waiting for us. But if, if you are, then hi. And then, oh, Aaron's sitting on that way, and then Sean's sitting on that way. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. I just need to tell you, Abba. Abba, okay, we're done, okay?